Hey YouTube, uh, this is Aja here, or Loki C Low 93. Um, here to bring you the first tutorial on YouTube about how to put non market applications on your Motorola backflip. There it is, Motorola backflip. I'm going to show you how to put non market applications on this. A lot of people have been angry uh, that uh, AT&T took off the allow unknown source downloads for the Motorola backflip. I was pretty pissed too and then did a little bit of research and I found this website XDA developers will be a link in the description and uh, this will show this will show you how to download the um, un, non market apps but I'm gonna show you on this video tutorial. So first thing you want to do is go to the XDA developers website scroll down to download USB drivers I download there's a 32 bit and a 64 bit so whatever your computer is download that one I did the 32 and then that'll be right on your desktop there it is right there next what you want to do install the SDK file it'll be a zip so here's there's a link right there click that and install the, uh, not install that download that and then you want to unzip that onto your desktop. It'll be one file. It'll be Android SDK Windows. That'll be the name of the file. Next thing you want to do, uh, install Motorola uh, Consumer Driver. You want to install that. And then once you have that installed, um, you'll be good. So here it is right there, installed. When you plug in your your phone to your computer, that thing should pop up and say connected. Next thing you want to do is on my computer, you want to go to local to see and create a file called ADB. There it is. I already did it. ADB. Now, in that folder, you want to drag the Android SDK Windows file that should that would be on your desktop, and you want to put that right there in the ADB on your C drive. Now, in there, there'll be the only thing that you're going to need is the tools. Now in there, that's where you'll put all your APK files and uh, the CMD. So for the CMD, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to My Computer again, Local to C, Windows, scroll down to System32, Now in system 32 you want to scroll down to the cmd.exe file right there. Don't move this file, just co you need to copy this file. So click it, come over here, hit copy this file and put it into the tools folder. So if I go back to my tools folder, there it is right there, cmd in my tools folder. And then here's all my APKs. Alright, next thing you need to do is you need to go to my computer again except right click it right click my computer scroll down to properties uh... click the advanced tab go down and click environmental variables and then under system variables scroll down to you see path double click path and at the end it'll say qt system forward slash so what you need to do for that is on the XDA website that I gave to you in the link in the description there is this they'll say semicolon c dot dot backslash SDK backslash tools backslash you want to copy that you want to copy that part right there and paste it where you see QT system backslash you want to paste it after that then you hit OK. I've already done it, so and then exit out of that. So now you're good. So next thing you want to do is, I'm sure most of you already know this. You need to go to Allow Debugging, USB Debugging. So you want to go to Settings, Applications, Development, and Allow USB Debugging. Right there, you need to allow that. Next, you need to plug in your phone to your computer. Here it is, you need to plug that in and allow the USB. I've already done this, mine's already hooked up to my computer. You need to allow USB drive. Next thing you need to do, go to website, 
Panda apps, for shared any of those websites, you can Google them, you can YouTube websites to get non-market apps, and you need to download, um, like, an app. It'll come up, and it'll look, I'll go into my tools, it'll come up, and look like this. It'll have, look like this, it'll say the name of the app, dot .apk. So, non, I just, I just got non-music, I haven't put it on my phone yet. So, non-music is not in the Android market anymore. So, I think it is... Let's see if I can find it in here. I'm going to download that right now. There it is. iMusic. I'm going to put that on my phone. So, go to... Click on CMD. You want to type in ADB space install. Now, you need to type in the name... You need to type in the name of the application. So mine is iMusic. iMusic dash five fifty six Z six Z K K nine. And then after that you just need to put dot APK. So Whatever the application you downloaded says as a file name, that's what you need to put in there. So the application name and then .apk. All you have to do is press enter. There it is, it's downloading, downloading. And then after this, it should come up with something. This says success, will be right there, there it is. Success, you've installed a non-market app into your Motorola backflip. So I'll show you that right now. Go into here, go into all my applications. There it is. iMusic. If you know what the application looks like, that's what it looks like. You can't get it in the market. You have to download it as an APK off the non market. So there it is. Click on that. I agree. There it is. iMusic and a non-market app on your Motorola backflip. Thank you, rate uh, five stars, and uh, probably come out with my next video soon. And uh, that's it, thank you.